Hello guys, in this video I am going to explain the monostable mode of IC555. So let's get started. This is the internal circuit of IC555 and I already explained about this in other video, link in the description below. This is SR flip-flop and its truth table is these two are input and these two are output. When both the input is zero, then it is in the previous state. When R equal to zero and S equal to one, then Q equal to one, Q bar equal to zero. When R equal to one, S equal to zero, Q zero and Q bar will be one. When both the input is 1, then invalid. And also I explained about this comparator in other video, link in the description below. As this is internal circuit of IC555, so this will be pin number 1, it is pin number 2, it is pin number 3 is the output, pin number 4, pin number 5, pin number 6, pin number 7 and it is pin number 8. As we are going to discuss the monostable mode, so to work it as monostable mode, we have to make some connection. We have to connect both the pin number 6 and 7 together. Between pin number 6 and VCC, we have to connect one resistor. It is R. And with the pin number 6, we have to connect one capacitor it is C, then this capacitor is connected to the ground. This is trigger pin, we have to connect one push to one switch with this and the other side of the switch should be connected to the ground. Whenever we press the switch, this pin number 2 will be in logic 0. And with the pin number 2, we have to connect one pulled up resistor and other side of the resistor should be connected to the plus VCC. So in the absence of the ground signal to the pin number 2, this pin number 2 will be in logic high. And this value could be 33 kilo ohms. These three resistors are working as voltage divider as we are applying here plus VCC and here ground. So in this point, we have a voltage 2 VCC by 3 and in this point we will have VCC by 3 and we have to connect one capacitor to the pin number 5 and then it is connected to ground. The value of the capacitor is 0.01 microfarad. This capacitor is connected to reduce the noise in the pin number 5 otherwise it will change the value of this voltage ok first we will assume that the output is 0 so whenever it is 0 then q bar will be 1 whenever q bar is 1 then this transistor will work as a closed circuit whenever it is working as closed circuit then this pin number 7 is connected to ground. Whenever pin number 7 is connected to ground, this is connected to here. So pin number 6 and this point will be connected to the ground. As this point is connected to ground, so voltage across the capacitor will be 0. Whenever we have 0 volt here and in this point we have 2 VCC by 3 so the voltage at inverting input is higher than voltage in the non-inverting as inverting voltage is higher than non-inverting input voltage so the output will be 0 at the same time in this comparator its non-inverting input has a voltage of VCC by 3 and in the inverting voltage is VCC so the output will be 0. 
whenever r equal to 0 and s equal to 0 the output will be in the previous state and what is our previous state it is 0 and 1 so with this we can understand that until we applied any triggering signal the output will be same as this so this is the output this is the capacitor and this is the triggering signal in the y axis we have volt and in the x axis it is time in the current situation the voltage across the capacitor is zero i'll consider up to this time the triggering signal is at the logic high and the output is zero Now apply the triggering signal for very little time. So during this uh, trigger signal, the logic in the pin number 2 will be logic 0 and after the little time, the logic will be again high in the pin number 2. So here it is applied the trigger signal for very little time and then it is again in the logic high. And it will go on like this. Now we have to find out what will be the waveform in this. So during the logic low in the pin number 2 when we apply the trigger signal. So in this input we have 0 volt in the pin number 2. And in this we have VCC by 3. So this voltage is higher than this one. So the output will be 1. Now at the same time we have to find out what is going on here. As the voltage across the capacitor is still 0 volt. So in the non-inverting input we have 0 volt and in the inverting input we have 2 VCC by 3. So the output will be 0. So R equal to 0, S equal to 1 r equal to 0 s equal to 1 the output will be q equal to 1 and q bar is 0 as q bar is 0 now this transistor will work as a open circuit as it is working as open circuit now pin number 7 is disconnected with the ground so the pin number 6 also disconnected from the ground as this point is disconnected from the ground, now the capacitor is charging through this way. As this resistor is connected to plus VCC, so current will flow in this way. Okay. Now the capacitor is charging. Now charging. So the capacitor is charging and what is the output 1 so whenever we apply the trigger signal our output is 1 and the capacitor is charging now the capacitor is charging and after some time the voltage across the capacitor will be little bit higher than VCC by 3. So this is the VCC, this is the voltage at the VCC by 3 and this is 2 VCC by 3. 
and it is VCC. So the capacitor is charging towards the VCC. Now the voltage is a little bit higher than VCC by 3. As the voltage across the capacitor is VCC by 3, so at this point the voltage is VCC by 3 and in this point the voltage is still to VCC by 3. So the output is 0. And in this point, in the positive input we have VCC by 3 and in the negative input we have plus VCC or logic high as the trigger signal is already gone. So in the negative input we have more voltage than this so the output will be 0. R equal to 0, S equal to 0, R equal to 0, S equal to 0 so it is in the previous state. So it is still so it will be again 1 and 0. So as it is 0 so capacitor is still charging. Now it is charging. Now we touch the 2 VCC by 3 voltage and it is a little bit higher. Now see what is going on here. Now the voltage across the capacitor is 2 VCC by 3 a little bit higher than 2 VCC by 3 so now this volt is little bit higher than this because we have 2 VCC by 3 and it is little bit higher than 2 VCC by 3 so the output of this converter will be 1 and in this the positive input voltage is VCC by 3 and in the negative input voltage we have VCC so this voltage is higher than this so the output will be 0. R equal to 1, S equal to 0. R equal to 1, S equal to 0. So Q will be 0. I am writing it here. Q will be 0 and Q bar will be 1. So the voltage across a little bit more than 2 VCC by 3 we are getting the output 0 the voltage across the capacitor is little bit higher than 2 VCC by 3 so the output is 0 ok It is still logic high. As it is 0, the Q bar will be 1 as Q bar is 1. So this will work as a closed circuit. As it is working as closed circuit, this point is connected to ground and also this. As in this point, the voltage is 0 volt or the voltage level is in the ground level. So the voltage across the capacitor will be again 0 because it will discharge all the voltage through this way ok and this is the sudden voltage drop in the capacitor there is a sudden drop in the voltage across the capacitor and at this time the output is 0 ok as across the capacitor the voltage is 0 volt so here the voltage is 0 and in this point we have 2 VCC by 3 so the output will be 0 and in this comparator the positive input voltage is VCC by 3 and the negative input voltage we have plus VCC so the output will be 0 0 0 means previous state what is our previous state it is 0 and 1 so until we apply any trigger signal this will not be changed so it will goes on like this
Now if we apply the trigger signal, this will repeat the same cycle. So this is the theoretical part of the monostable mode and in the next video I will show you the practical explanation and we will verify these waveforms in the oscilloscope. So guys this is all for today, I hope you like this video, if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video I will show you the practical circuit on monostable mode, till then stay happy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.